Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Rich Reviews. Hope you had a fantastic festive period. Happy New Year for forthcoming 2023. As we've come to the end of the year, yep, you've guessed it. It's Rich Reviews end of year review. <laughs> One of the key plans for 2023 is to review many different makes and models of cars. At the moment, we haven't reviewed too many different cars and that's because of insurance. We didn't have the proper insurance to be able to be covered for journalistic content review. So what does that mean? Well, that means that you have to have specialist journalist insurance of, to obviously quite a high value um, for fully comprehensive coverage to enable us to drive other people's cars. You're not allowed to drive other people's cars for journalistic content, to create journalistic content um, on normal insurance policies. It's illegal. So if you own a beautiful sports car or supercar or any specialist car and you're happy for us to review that car, please get in touch at the email below rich at computing-solutions.co.uk. Now 2022 can be split up into three categories for rich reviews. Events, informative content, and reviews. Now with regards to events, we've got many different events that we attended. Events such as, I'm just gonna go through a small list here of events that we took part in. The Modball Rally UK, Salon Privé for Trophy Day and Classics and Supercar Day. Uh, Prescott Hill Climb, Podium Place twice. Uh, Broadway twice, <laughs> Sewell Aerodrome twice for Supercar Fest Runway and Ferrari Owners Day. Good word, um, for example, we had the breakfast meet where we met um, Tim Burton and we interviewed Tim Burton for you. And also, of course, Middlewick House where um, we, we took a walk around Middlewick House, which is Nick Mason's grounds. We were able to create content on all this very special car collection. Now, when we're talking about informative content, here what we're talking about is the videos that we created for items such as the installation of the Forza Valve controller, content to provide you information on how to use the infotainment system for the 458, the functionality of the Manatino for the 458, content with regards to the checks that you should perform to keep your supercar on the road, and for a road rally. So when we talk about reviews, we're talking about car reviews, and the reviews that we created for 2022 included the Abarth 500 reviews that we performed, obviously content and reviews on the 458, different aspects of the 458, 765 LT review, and the 296 review that we provided. All those different reviews are very heterogeneous. Um, for example, the Abarth, we provided you content in details with regards to the situation we had where the, the, uh, the valves hit the pistons and in effect we had, a, had to have a top end rebuild. So all the content around, around that situation. And we've just created a video for an update on the Abarth, so that will be one of the first videos that we'll be dropping in 2023. So look out for that, guys. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. So the year in review for this year is going to be a bit different than last year. I'm not gonna go through every different event and every different review that we did because we'll be here for about an hour and a half and I'm sure you guys don't want me to waffle on for about an hour and a half, you get bored and you'll drop out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cover off our top five of 2022. So what's at number five? Number five is the 296 review. Now the 296 review and the drive out was in two parts. It was a drive out on the road and it was a drive out on the Millbrook Proving Ground. Now, we provided you content on the road. We were able to do that. We were able to put cameras on the car, but, but unfortunately we weren't allowed to put cameras while we we're on the Milbert Proving Grounds, but I talked you through that content. When we were driving the car instantly on the road, the 296 was instantly capable, and there's no doubt about that. The car is incredibly capable, incredibly fast. Braking capability is astonishing uh, with its uh, regenerative capability, which is incorporated into the braking. And of course, the, the rear wing that comes out, um, or the rear, I don't know what you want to call it, but the deployable rear, rear wing section. Um, 
which is fantastic and adds a substantial amount of additional braking. But the key part of driving that car was on, when it, when it really came together was on the Milbrook Proving Ground. Um, I had an Italian racing driver next to me. He took me around the hill section of the Proving Ground. We did different sections as well, weaving in between cones um, and a, a stop start for, for pure acceleration from 0 to 150, which again was obviously astonishing. But when he drove me around the proving ground, around the hill section, when we came to the first corner, I was convinced the car was going to leave the road. It just defied the laws of physics, just absolutely astonishing car. The capability of, of the driver and the capability of the car were just, them two fused together were just astonishing incredible car there's no way i could drive that car to anywhere near its capability because i'm just not a capable enough driver but when i got in and i was able to drive that car i could push it as hard as i wanted and it just stayed on the road i mean it just defies the laws of physics absolutely incredible car really really love the 296 and if i had the money i'd have an order in i just can't afford a 296 um, not with jeopardizing everything else that i have and i'm not willing to do that obviously um, if I was going to order a 296, it would of course be the GTS. You've got the best of both worlds, the capability to drop the roof, um, and it doesn't really diminish too much of the performance of the car with regards to structural rigidity. So that would be my choice of the 296 GTS if I could afford that car, but a phenomenal capable car, and it was a great thing to be able to, to drive that car at the Milbert Proving Ground. Thank you to Dick Lovett for providing that opportunity for us. Greatly appreciated. So in at number five was 296 review. In at number four is the 765 LT review. First of all, thank you very much to Ross for providing the 765 LT for reviewing. Now, we reviewed the 765 LT just before registering for the Modball Rally. Time was, was of an issue. Um, we did have a good amount of time to review the 765 LT, but we did have to go across to register for the Modball Rally, but thankfully where, we, where Ross was based, it was quite close to the Intercontinental Hotel where we were registering for Modball and where we were staying overnight where the actual Modball kicked off in Edinburgh. Now the 765 LT, just astonishing car, and it was a Spider version. Now any people that don't realize 765 LT is a special edition version of the 720S, which is in effect a, a very capable car in itself, but it has obviously been reliability issues with the 720. It would seem that they've overcome those issues with the 765 LT, and although you don't need much more performance than the 720, the 765 is immensely more, more performant than the 720S. It's just a phenomenal car. It looks like a spaceship. It drives like a spaceship and just, just fantastic. And, and for the Spider version, I mean, you've got that capability to be able to drop the roof. Just incredible car. Thanks a lot, Ross, for, let, for letting us review that car. Again, if you want to see that video in full, please check out the links below. I'm going to provide all the links to these separate out in the description below. And also, of course, they all exist in our playlists anyway. So that was number four, the 765 LT review. Then number three was Salon Privé. Now we're at Salon Privé for two events this year in 2022. We were there for the Club Trophy Day and for the Classics and Supercars Day. Now for the Club Trophy Day, we went down with our friend Nick. He kindly drove us down. Thanks a lot, Nick. That was great. And obviously it was great to see all the different, um, all the different marks there as they, as they are on a Club Trophy Day. So you've got Ferrari, Lamborghini, etc. all the major marks that come down on the Club Trophy Day. And they're provided, all the different marks are provided a trophy um, for the best in class. Now the key Salon Privé Day though for us was the Classics and Supercars Day, because that was organized by the Drivers' Union, by the founder, Saeed. Now, Saeed really looked after us. He got us parking at pole position, right behind Blenheim Palace, which is where we were parked last year for the Club Trophy Day. Just a phenomenal event. He provided food for us as well, fantastically well organized, incorporated into the Salon Privé Classics and Supercars Day. We also had a procession drive around the perimeter of Salon Privé and actually through the Salon Privé grounds as well, which was really cool. We were there with some very, very valuable supercars. For example, there was a 250 GTO that was, that was heading out, it was leading out the actual group. And that 250 GTO, if you check out the video, guys, you'll see it broke down because it overheated, um, which is not a surprise. You know, we're driving out very slowly. It was a warm day. And those cars just just aren't just weren't designed to drive out in a procession format like that. And of course, it's very old as well, very old engineering now. But that was a fantastic day. So thanks a lot for that, site. It was a phenomenal event. So that is at number three, the Salon Privé, two events, 
the club trophy day, but predominantly the classics and supercars day with the drivers union. Fantastic to meet all the drivers union group and, and to, to gel with them and to talk about all, and to talk about all the different supercars and to meet and see all the different eclectic supercars that exist within the drivers union. And of course the drive down and drive back as well. They were phenomenal. Check out the video guys. Now in at number two is the Amira. Now we've created multiple videos on the Amira. As it, for those that aren't in the know, by the way, we have a Lotus Amira first edition V6 on order. Now we created content while we're at Goodwood. We did a walk around at Goodwood. We, we provide an announcement, of course, that we are purchasing a Lotus Amira. And we also provided the configuration of the Amira as well. So our, our bespoke configuration as and when we did that for the Lotus Amira. Our Lotus Amira order has been beset with the usual delays. Everybody who's got a Lotus Amira on order has the same delay issues and we're no different. So we've had multiple delays um, or where it was, you know, we were supposed to get the car, we were supposed to take possession of the car around September, October time. Then it slipped a month, then it slipped another month, then I slipped another month. And now it's slipped now until March 2023. Now that's not necessarily a bad thing because we collect the car and it should be registered for March 2023 as the 2023 car. I just hope it doesn't get delayed anymore, guys. If it slips past summer, then we'll have to rethink the option whether or not we take possession of the car. But at the moment, we've still got the Lotus Mirror on order and we're really looking forward to taking possession of that car. And for those that aren't aware, the general specification of the car is that we've gone for Heffel Yellow with silver wheels and also a black interior with Alcantara and leather. We've also gone for the full black pack as well. But again, if you want to see the full details of our videos on the Amira, please check out the, the links below. We've provided all the links. I've provided all the links in the description below. And of course, we've got a separate playlist for the Amira content as well. So what's at number one? It's the Modball Rally. Absolutely phenomenal event. Cannot wax lyrically enough about this event. Absolutely astonishing. The key thing about the Modball Rally was the people that took part in the Modball Rally, so the com camaraderie, I had trouble saying that then, so the com camaraderie of all the people who took part in the event, um, the places, of course, and the roads that we drove on, astonishing roads, Brecon Beacons, the Brecon Beacons, Scottish Borders, etc. Um, and of course the events that we, uh, and of course the places that we visited and when we went out for meals and we went out to clubs afterwards, etc. Just, you know, the whole thing coming together was just a phenomenal event. To begin with, I was very concerned and very wary about putting a thousand miles on the car for such an event. I was very worried that when the event concluded, I'd regret putting all those mileage on the car, but not one bit of it. Don't regret it at all. Absolutely phenomenal event. I'd really recommend anybody who's thinking about taking, a, taking part in such, a, such an event like, like the Modball Rally, whether it be the Cannonball Run, uh, Modball Rally, or the Gumball Rally. Of course, the Gumball Rally costs an absolute fortune to take part in. So we kicked it off with um, registering in Edinburgh after we did the 765 LT review, then putting the stickers on the car in Edinburgh. Then we had a kickoff um, black tie event, um, black tie meal. And then from there, we kicked off the actual driving the next day when we drove from Edinburgh uh, to Lake Windermere first of all and then from Lake Windermere we drove on to Manchester and obviously we were driving across the Scottish borders there which are absolutely astonishing phenomenal scenery but phenomenal driving roads and we were very lucky with the weather so we managed to keep the roof down throughout the whole mod ball event which made it a lot easier of course for us to create content for you as well with Jacob videoing out of the side of the car in effect so that that provided us that great flexibility to be able to do that driving through the Scottish borders fantastic area beautiful scenery and beautiful driving roads absolutely phenomenal driving roads roads then of course our first main stopover was at Manchester and then we had evening events there at Manchester which were great all the camaraderie of, of eating and and having drinks with the guys that are all on the on the mod ball rally or the mod ballers as they call them and then for the second day of the driving we drove from Manchester um, to Cardiff and we stopped off at the Alam Visitor Centre and we actually drove across the dams there at the Alam Visitor Centre um, and created content there as well, which you'll see again in the video. And then we went on from there and we drove through the Brecon Beacons, which again is another phenomenal driving area. We drove through the Brecon Beacons on our way into Cardiff. And then we finished off the event in Cardiff, where again, we had a great meal with the guys there and had some drinks, etc., and to close out the event. Absolutely phenomenal event. If you think about doing something like that, guys, I cannot recommend it enough. Absolutely phenomenal, fantastic event. Get your name down for something like that. Absolutely phenomenal. Um, I know I've said phenomenal many times, but it, it just was exceptional and do not regret putting the miles on the car at all. It was a great, great experience. Um, and uh, thanks a lot, guys, for all you mod ballers that took part. 
absolutely exceptional. And we've got some very good friends on the back of that as well who we're going to keep in, con con who we're going to keep in contact with going forwards. So there you have it, 2022, a year in review for Rich Reviews. If you enjoyed the content, please give it a thumbs up, give it a like. Great future content to come. As I say, we're looking at reviewing a lot more heterogeneous different brands and models in 2023. We have quite a few on our list already. Again, as I mentioned earlier at the beginning of the video, if you're happy for us to review your car and you have a lovely sports or supercar, please get in touch at the email address below, rich at computing-solutions.co.uk. Um, if you're happy for us to review your car and we'll add it to our schedule for 2023. Thanks a lot for all our loyal subscribers and all our loyal viewers who've kept with us all throughout from the inception of the channel all the way through 2022 and going to be moving forward with us hopefully into 2023. We're really going to move the channel forward and grow it in 2023. Thanks a lot for watching guys and we'll see you in 2023 for our first video which I believe will be an update on the Abarth 500 SS.